Glentoran and Linfield are the two biggest football clubs of Belfast, known as the Belfast Big Two. How does this rivalry affect the young fans of both clubs? And did the troubles affect the levels of violence? Glentoran director John Murr explains. When did the, the rivalry between Linfield and Glentoran start? Well, the rivalry has been going back probably over 100 years. Um, back in the late 20s, Glentoran had a centre forward called Joe Bambrick, uh, very, very good player, great goal scorer. Uh, Joe did what most sort of Glentoran fans would think was the unthinkable, and he left us and joined Linfield. In his first season with Linfield, he scored 94 goals in one season, and they said it would never be beaten. Um, the next season, we signed a player called Fred Roberts. Uh, Fred came in as centre forward, and the next season, he scored 96 goals. It has never been beaten and the Glenthorn fans had a, a little uh, rhyme at the time where they said uh, tell every blue man, so Linfield playing blue, so tell every blue man you know Freddie scored two more than Joe. Uh, is the rivalry uh, peaceful or is there still a bit of violence in it or? No, well the, the grounds are they're well segregated now. Yeah, I, I remember back in the 70s yeah, where there, there might have been a bit of violence. It was, all, it was only, it's like Valence at all football, it's a small number of people doing it, you know, uh, and, but then the media always sort of latch on to it and, and blow it up to be something bigger than it was. Yeah, there's been there's been Valence here, there's been Valence over at Windsor Park as well, but generally, I think the last time there was any Valence of any significance was back in 2005 when we played Linfield here. Uh, there was only two matches left of the season. If Linfield drew that game, they were league champions. We had to win. Um, we were winning 2-1. There were six minutes to go when Linfield equalised. And then in the fourth minute of added time, we scored a goal uh, at our own end. And the player who scored the goal had been signed from Linfield that season. Uh, we won 3-2 and we were league champions. But um, some of the supporters didn't like the idea and they came onto the pitch and there was a bit of, bit of trouble, but that's the last time. So it's, well, next year it'll be 15 years. So there hasn't really been any balance of any significance in that time. Round to the end of the red seats. Another sterile area, Glen Torn fans. So it's very difficult for the fans to, to uh, get to each other. To, to get to each yeah. other, it's it first virtually impossible. Yeah. Uh, let's get back to the troubles. Uh, you said it was a bit more violent probably in those days. Was it because of all the different parties with different ideas and then they just collided at the football stadium? No, um, where Linfield's ground is situated and where the Oval here is situated are both in areas that would be mostly Protestant. Um, but so our rivalry was never a religious thing. It was just based on the size of the clubs and that competitiveness that we want to be better than you and you want to be better than us. At uh, Glen Torn have never been known as or thought of as a club who had any sectarian ideas. Our support is a mixed support. Our players are mixed and our backroom staff, everything about the club. Even during the troubles in the 70s and 80s, we have always had uh, a mixed a group of people associated with the club. Is there a difference between how the youth sees the rivalry between the clubs uh, with uh, more adult people? I don't think so. Um, as I said, it's 15 years nearly since there has been any significant trouble at the ground. Um, certainly the youth of Glen Torren, we have two Polish speaking teams, we have disability teams, we have uh, junior teams, both boys and girls and right up until sort of 16, 17 years of age. So Glen Torn invests a lot in the, the academy and the youth, or not only of the area, but um, even outside Belfast, we have kids coming in to play football here. There's no animosity with kids at the matches, you know, there's no violence, there's no hatred or, or whatever, you know, 